Welcome to SNL Adventures in Food, and we're back with another episode. And we have breakfast again. But you know me, it's not your typical breakfast, you know, it's not eggs, ham, bacon, you know, I eat whatever I want. Why? Because I'm grown. <laughs> Anyways, welcome back, people, and we're here today. What I have for you guys, it was. It was. I guess recommended, you know, but yeah, recommended. Sorry, it's early in the morning, I'm still waking up, so that's why I'm like pausing. But let's get down to it. What I have for you guys here today in this little square box, as you can see, and move my napkins is nothing other than Pizza Pirates. R. Yep, Pizza Pirates. Never had it, so let's see what it's all about. Arr, shiver me timbers. And let's check out what's in the box. Let me check out. I got ranch sauce. And I got the pizza. And some wings. So the pizza is a deluxe pizza, which pretty much has everything on it. And the wings are hot Parmesan. So I believe it's Frank's Red Hot Sauce on the wings and they sprinkle it with Parmesan cheese. So let's get down to it. Let's try the Pizza Pirates. Here's the first slice. And let's do this. Mmm. Cheese is good. Much rather cheese. Mmm. 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 It's good. Really good. Breakfast of champions. I know you guys are probably wondering. You just said breakfast. Where are your pizza so early? Well, actually, we got this pizza last night. Made a run. And got. Pizza Pirates. So, oh, how did you come across Pizza Pirates? Pizza Pirates, yesterday when I was watching the Canelo fight, um, I was talking to my cousin and he was eating Pizza Pirates. I said, What the heck is Pizza Pirates? So he said it was good. So, you know me. We had to go to find out to see how good Pizza Pirates is. So that's how we got it. Shout out to my cousin, my primo, Luis. He wanted a shout out. There's your shout out. Um, and we're here with Pizza Pirates. It's good. It's really good. You guys are probably well, where's Pizza Pirates? Pizza Pirates has multiple locations but this one right here itself was out in the Riverside area uh, or they call it Jerupa Valley so that's where we got this one from and it's not bad it's not bad pizza how I had better of course I've had better pizza but it's good I think lands on one of the ones that are good I would buy some more from this spot. So, Pizza Pirates, thumbs up. Let's try these wings. Yeah, they have a little Parmesan. Let's check them out. Mmm. It's good. I'm not really a fan of buffalo sauce, but they don't use buffalo. They use that Frank's Red Sauce sauce. On with the old lady in the commercial that says, I put that shit on everything. That's the sauce. You guys can Google that if you think I'm lying. But, I'm dipping on some ranch. And, mmm. The ranch sauce is really different. It's unique. It's I guess they make it for themselves there, so it's not your typical ranch. 
Um, we got some chicken. Oh yeah. Like I told you guys before, if you guys have any ideas what you guys want to see on on our channel, comment below. Let me know. You know. Anything you guys want to see, let me know. Wherever it is at, just give me the address or give me the name and I'll Google it just like I did this one. But it was good. You know? I was just a little bit scared going to pick it up because it said pizza pirates. It's like, damn, these guys are pirates and we gotta go buy pizza there. You know, I, I had to take a little. A little uh, backup, you know what I mean? But, nah. Uh, why they call them pirates? Pizza pirates? I don't know. To me, it's like, sounding like Chuck E. Cheese or something, but no, it's nothing like that. Hmm. They're really good though. I do recommend it. So, you guys want to try some different type of pizza other than your typical? Head up Pizza Pirates. Like I said, they have multiple locations around. They just don't have that one. So, Google it. Or you guys want the address to where I went? Comment below. Well, oh. It's good. The cheese is really, really good. Flavorful. So. I'm not really a fan of the crust, but it's good. The thing about this place, I should have brought it. I have it. It's a book. They have a catalog. Yes, literally a catalog of pizzas you can order there. I mean, you flip it. There's pizzas. Pizzas. Flip it. Pizzas. They got tons of pizzas from the whatever you can think they have there so i give them that they're, they're they are one of a kind i could say but i guess i can't go wrong with pizza for breakfast so this is what i'm eating Very good. Mm. So, that's the last slice of my pizza. Mmm. Very delicious. And then, I have a little something, something for you guys at the end of the video. So, stay tuned. Don't, don't push. Don't, don't X out of this. I got something special for you guys. Some Diet Dr. Pepper, you know how I do. Wow. Another thing, right now, with this whole pandemic crap, Diet Dr. Pepper is like, like crack. It's hard to find. No, wait a minute. Crack's not hard to find. Anyways, it's hard to find. You go to the stores and there's no Diet Dr. Peppers on the shelves, like, what are people doing? You know, first is toilet paper, now is diet soda missing. It, it's just weird, but yeah, it's, it's, it's hard. It's hard to find diet Dr. Pepper. Or any diet soda, I should say. Hmm. So, I'm going to eat one more wing. And what I ordered should be getting here they told me they'll be here at a certain time so hopefully they're here and hopefully they're not seeing when they're coming coming to my spot okay well, we're done here for now, with a pizza, pizza pirates, 
Pizza Pirates. That kind of sounds like it's out of like Toy Story or something. Oh no, that was Pizza Planet. But, you know, it sounds similar. But, let's close this up. Pizza Pirates. And let's wait. I'm waiting, man. I can't wait. I can't wait. Wait a minute. You hear that? It's here. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Let me, let me see. Hey, what's up, man? All right. Thank you. I got it. I got it. The plug is here. The plug came and delivered. Yep. The plug came. Check it out. All right, you guys thought. The cookie plug. What you guys know about that? You guys think, oh, the plug, the plug. What is he doing? Nah, it's the, it's the plug. Come on. Anyways, how many of you have heard of the cookie plug? I don't know. Let's check it out. You guys are gonna be like, what? what? If I could open this. Damn, the cookie plug sealed this up pretty good. Because you don't want nobody to know what's in the box. Sheesh. Oops. There we go. Couldn't open it. Man, this box is awesome. You guys ready? Look at this. It says, It was all a dream. Like, like Notorious B.I.G. And what's in here? It's what the plug brought me. Look at it. They put in a little baggie, you know, like, hey, hey, here's, here's it. Time to re-up. Hate it or love it, holler at us. There you go, the cookie plug. See, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give you guys my plug number and where they're at so you guys get hooked up by the plug. But anyways, look what he brought me. You guys are like, what's that? Let's check it out. Let's open these bad boys up. Wow. So these are cookies. Check it out. This right here looks like a red velvet, but look at that thing's like an inch wide. Or yeah, an inch wide. Look at that bad boy. It looks like it's red velvet. And then we have two of these, which looks like a chocolate chip cookie with marshmallows. Look at that. Look at that bad boy. Look at the thickness. An inch thick. There you go. Thick. I said white. Thick. These things are huge. The other one's the same. So I want to give it a try. Let's see. This little red cookie. Oh no. Okay. It's good. The only reason I made that face is because it's peppermint. I don't, I don't do this holiday peppermint pumpkin stuff, but it's good. I'm not saying it's nasty. Just wasn't expecting peppermint. That's why it's red. I thought it was red velvet. It's not. So let's try this one. It looks like a chocolate chip. So this one should be good. Mm-hmm. It's a chocolate chip from the cookie plug. So you guys are wondering like where's the cookie plug? Or how did I find out about the cookie plug? Let me tell you guys how I met the cookie plug. So one night I was walking down the alley and uh Got approached by two guys and he goes, hey homie, they call me the plug, you want some cookies? Nah, just play, just play, you guys thought. Nah, the cookie plug, um, we just found it, I believe, searching online. And this one, we found it out in Riverside, I believe it was at the mall, at the Tyler Mall in Riverside, California. And we had seen it, been wanting to try it for a while. Everything just looks crazy. It's just the way they make their stuff is their own style, different than anybody else. But yeah, the cookie plug. 
I don't know. Is this something you guys got to try? You know, if you guys want to know where it's at, comment below or, or search it out. And we gave the cookie plug a try, and it's good. Just written that peppermint's not for me. So we had Pizza Pirates and the cookie plug. So that's our review for today. So I appreciate for all the new subscribers tuning in. And for the rest of you, you guys know the drill. Hit the like button, comment below. For the people for the first time looking, subscribe. Hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to subscribe. And share the channel. Share the channel, everybody. And um, other than that, that's all I have for you guys today. And I'll catch you guys until the next episode. You guys have yourself a wonderful day. Uh -huh.